Before we begin, I want to tell you about our daily newsletter. Be sure to sign up to get the latest in construction news. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Eric Yeomans. I'm the North American product manager for Wheel Loaders. And we're here today at the World of Asphalt in St. Louis. And I'm going to take you around and show you the new 260. So it's part of our new gen large update. So we have a ATC, automatic traction control. It comes standard on the front axle. So what we're actually doing now is we're monitoring the torque that's coming out of transmission. We're also monitoring the rotation of the axles and then we're engaging the front differential automatically and you can select either first gear or first and second gear forward and it will do it up to seven miles an hour and then if you want to activate that manually you just push the button on the floor and you can go up to 15 miles an hour. On our 150, 180 we've increased the hydraulic pump flow in those machines so we've taken it from 48 to 67 gallons per minute on the 150 and from 57 to 67 gallons per minute that's increasing our speed so in turn what we're doing is reducing our cycle times and then increasing productivity. We also lengthen the hydraulic cylinders on the 150 and 180 giving us an additional 4.7 and 5.1 uh, inch stump clearance on the long boom and standard boom. If you look here now you can see we, we have the new service platform so the operator will climb up here all maintaining three points of contact, step across here and then step on the front platform to clean the windshield and that. And also he can clip in his safety harness to the safety hook on the cab. So all, all, always maintaining that safety as he's getting on and off the cab. Another new feature we introduce on all machines is smart control. So we're controlling the engine throttle or the throttle function in the machine. We're also controlling the rim pull control. So in second gear and above, and we see that now we're reducing the fuel consumption by 4% while maintaining or not compromising productivity and fuel efficiency. Another cool feature we have here now, which we've gone the same as all other products, we have an electronic priming punt. So you basically press this button, hold it in, and then within three to five minutes, you've actually bled the fuel system. So nice, easy way. And the benefit of that is that you're reducing your service times and increasing your productivity. When it comes around here, we have the new Volvo word mark. So we have a whole new rear end of the machine. It just makes the machine look really modern. And then when you open up this, we have the new service light. Shining down here, making it easier for the operator to fill up the machine with def and fuel. Because these machines work basically 24-7. <clears throat> This one doesn't have it, but if we had the fast fuel fill option, that would actually be located in here. Again, keeping the operator on the ground because you can do a ground level fueling. Another cool function we have now, in the industry we're hearing more and more that customers are finding it difficult to find operators or skilled operators. So we, we already have simulators, as you see here, but now we've also got auto bucket fill. So as you're going into the pile, you hold the kick down button for two seconds and we take over control of the throttle, the lifting and the bucket fill function. One thing we've noticed is that we're always getting consistent uh, weight in the bucket. And then we always, we always sort of know and operate over time, his productivity is really good. And then in the afternoon or late in the day, fatigue sets in and the productivity drops off. We see that this maintains the same productivity throughout the day, so it's a really, really good feature. So let, let's go take a look in the cab, but first let's open the cab with the remote door open, and it, this is a really cool safety feature because you can open it, the operator can put his lunchbox up here, and then always maintain the three points of contact as you're getting in the cab. The main difference is inside the, the cab now compared to the H-Series is that we used to have a keypad here with a lot of functions, that we've moved all that functions into the integrated Volvo Copilot now. So all of those functions in here. If you go in reverse, you got a really good digital camera here. We have widgets so we can select four different ones. But I'm just gonna go in here. This is like the main home screen. You can see status of the machine. As it's running, you can check your temperature, it pressures through all the, every component in the machine. You can check when your service is due. You can change your auto lube settings you can carry out a brake test log that brake test so when basically enter osha come on site you can show that the brakes are in good work working order if you then go into tpms you can monitor the sensors are sort of warming up and connected so eventually they will show temperature and pressure 
in the machine and if you if you run your machine with the optimal or correct tar pressure you're going to save between three and five percent of fuel and about eight percent tar life and then information this is at the end of the day the operator can check how much tons i did how much fuel i burned how many cycles what distance i've traveled and then at the beginning of the shift he will reset that obviously but the real cool function is in here so we we have basically incorporated all of the technology we had here and we've moved several functions from the a post into here so could you imagine now if we had a way of like the, the operators doing short cycle loading so we normally activate you know ride control and transmission lockup in a different way I can imagine now if you if you're able to select those different work modes and we automatically selected it well we've done that so if you look at here if i'm a loading carry we're we're activating all these functions here lock up from second gear up same in reverse automatic gear shifting to auto your differential lock is engaged your speed dependent boom it's wide clear. it's all done automatically by doing it so when you go up to the work mode here whatever one i choose here will automatically select those work modes so it's really really making it quite simple for an operator to change when he's doing different tasks on the work site and then the other thing is here is where all the general settings so here's where we do all of the rim pull transmission d clutch regeneration delayed engine so we do all those settings here it's all in one area before with the keypad you would have to go into that menu and then go down and select the difference here everything is here so it's really really quite simple to do here where you can change your speed or your sensitivity of your hydraulic controls if you go back here some of the other features we have is we obviously have onboard weighing we still have that function here scales which is plus or minus one percent accuracy if i go back out here again the radio is incorporated into the integrated co-pilot it'll pick up a radio station there so we that's incorporated see the radio is there I can change the volume quite easy. The telephone can be connected to the integrated Volvo Copilot and then all your climate control as you see here. And each time you change what you'll see the different areas of the cab highlighted so it's really quite easy. You can set your temperature. So that, for me I think it's really the, the operator is not moving or searching around the, the cab. He's able to do that while still maintaining good line of sight around the machine as well for safety. For more videos like this, click the playlist on the screen now.